creating a cinematic camera fade in Unity. For this exercise, we'll be developing a cinematic camera fade script in Prefab. Our cinematic camera fade can be used in any aspect of our game, from UI menu screens to real-time and game cameras. In this video, we'll go through our initial cinematic camera fade demo scene setup. To make things simple, we'll simply use a UI image as our background and set the scene up as if we were creating a UI menu. To begin, select your camera, then adjust the camera's clear flags from Skybox to solid color. For our color, we chose a neutral gray. However, this has no effect on the fade we'll create. We'll then adjust our projection to an orthographic view and reduce our far clipping plane from 1000 to 20, as well as delete the light in the scene. Keep in mind, our camera fade effect will work regardless of these or any other settings in our scene. We're simply setting up the scene as we would with any standard UI menu we develop. Next, we'll go into our lighting tab and turn our environment lighting source to color. Next, we'll check the real-time global illumination, baked lighting checkbox, and our auto generate checkbox at the bottom of our lighting tab. In addition, since we won't be using the skybox, we set our skybox material to none. At this point, we're ready to begin developing in earnest. Inside the Hierarchy tab, right-click and under UI, select Image. Once your image is created, select the Canvas Game Object. With the Canvas Game Object selected, under the Canvas Scale component, change the UI Scale Mode from Constant Pixel Size to Scale with Screen Size. In the Scale to Screen Size input, place 1920 in the X and 1080 in the Y under Reference Resolution. Next, under the Canvas component, change the Render Mode from Screen Space Overlay to Screen Space Camera. Then, place your main camera into the Render Camera slot and adjust the plane distance to 10. Using Screen Space Camera rather than Overlay allows us to have a much smaller and confined workspace. Lastly, select the image, then set the anchor points and image to fill your entire canvas. By holding Shift and Alt while in the Anchor Presets dropdown and selecting the preset in the bottom right corner, your anchors and image will automatically stretch to the canvas size. With our initial setup complete, at this point you can use an image if you choose in order to distinguish your canvas from the rest of the environment. This completes our initial scene setup, but be sure to save your scene. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and be sure to join us in the next video, where we'll begin creating our cinematic camera fade effect script.